What's going on, everybody? Super bright out here. But anyway, a few little updates and changes for you today. Figured we'd start outside so you could see the well, the, the difference. Um, I had the I had the windows tinted. Uh, cousin, my cousin does window tinting on cars usually, and you know detail shop and whatnot. But anyway, I had him order me tint for these windows. So I'll show you, I guess that's why I'm out here to start with, so I can show you that. And then obviously I'll show it to you from the inside as well. Uh, it works nice, because like right now you can't even see in. All I can see is my reflection. But when you're inside, you can see out perfectly fine, which is what I was going for. I didn't want to have to do like blinds or something like along those lines. I think it's a cleaner look with the, uh, the tent. So let's get this camera turned around here and show you all these updates and changes and what's been done so far. All right, so you can see it's just black. I mean, it's so bright I can hardly see the camera screen. So I don't even know if you'll really honestly be able to see it, but I could back up a little bit. I mean, it's just blacked out. So let's go inside now and we will look at the inside and see how that looks. It's a lot cooler in here too and not as bright. Well, obviously I don't have the lights on, but you could still see out plain as day. Like I said, that's exactly what I wanted. It's what I was going for. Super nice, clean look in my opinion. But so let's get to it anyway. Um, the floors are all done. They were all painted uh, or sanded and painted and whatnot. They came out pretty well. Super happy with that. Um, we'll, we'll sneak peek her there. Huh? Um, this is where one of the coral tanks will be. You can see I started working on it. There's, you know, obviously that was cut off from the old setup, setting up new here. Um, but the stand is done. I just have to notch that out for the pipe to go through. And then I have the, that's a piece of foam I cut to sit under the tank. I'm just gonna spray paint that black real quick instead of spray painting the tank itself. It'll be, you know, the same thing. Um, and then I actually have another one of these tanks, pretty much the same, it's the well, same exact tank, it's just the overflow and return is in the center of the tank on the back instead of on the side. But that's what actually the aquaculture tank is now at the current shop. Um, the, the other one of those will go right here in front of this window. And then I'll have a little display thing display system I guess in between these two coral tanks and they'll have uh, that that system will have like crabs cleaner crew you know shrimp snails all that good stuff and then oh, a little sneak peek again and then this wall we're doing 40 breeders is what I decided I'll have 10 40 breeders of saltwater fish and that'll all go on this wall it'll actually fit like perfectly um, and then I have a display tank at the shop, which I did a video on that before when I went to pick it up I'm gonna center that here on this wall and then over here Is this monster? I was, I was trying to think of a word monstrous. I don't think that's the word anyway monster tank that I picked up and Finally got up and running So I don't know if you have seen previous videos, but I used to have well, it was basically another one of those. I got three total. Um, one of those at the shop, and it was the puffer tank. Well, this is the new puffer tank. Obviously, 300 gallons, um, plenty of room for activities. So I definitely will be adding more fish. I'm not sure which fish yet. I definitely am going to be getting a clown trigger because, like, those are one of my favorite. But other than that, I'm not sure on ideas. So if you have any ideas of what you would want to see in here or what you think I should put in here, definitely drop it down in the comments. But my poor porcupine puffer, see if we could, oh, he's gonna go all the way to the back so we can't see him. Camera shy, the dog face is not, there he is. More shy doll. but anyway. So um, while this was running and stuff, before I got the power head in here I just had this return pump in the corner down here just basically circulating some flow and the poor porcupine puffer somehow got sucked up into it 
and I wish he'd come out so I could show you, but his poor side is just all tore up. Um, he seems to be doing okay though. He's still eating and um, everything normal. So actually there, you can kind of see it a little bit. But yeah, poor guy, he was probably so stressed out. I was really worried about him. And knock on wood, he seems to be doing fine. Like I mean, he's still eating. I feed the uh, rods predator blend and everybody in there pretty much just tears it up. So moving on. Um, I did decide I am going to do fresh water, and that I guess you know will be in here. Um, this will be I'm just going to do like little betas up there. I have betas, um, and then this wall here and here um, will have a bunch of 20 longs on it. And like I said in the last video, um, do cichlids, but I was thinking I'd probably do like cichlids, guppies, um, you know, stuff along those lines and have it in here. But, and then the change of plans was I was actually going to do the aquaculture tank in here, but I decided, you know what? I probably need an office, you know? So it got me a little office set up in here and, uh, yeah, that's what that's going to be. So anyway, I just put the aquaculture tank back here. Well, I'm putting it back here. This is not the aquaculture tank. This is a tank that I actually got. I was going to use for my puffer tank. And then that big 300 gallon got posted on a local Facebook buy sell trade site. And I was like, yes, that needs to be the puffer tank. So anyway, the stand is built for it. This thing just has to get off there and go somewhere. But yeah, so the aquaculture tank will be back here and it'll be out of the way, you know, I mean, nobody will see it because it, it kind of stinks now, like at the shop, all my tanks are all in one room. So, you know, people see something that they want to buy and they're like, oh, how much is that? And I'm like, sorry, it's not for sale, you know, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, it'll be nice to be back here and out of the way. But this is all done since the last video. We're cruising right along, making water. Love it. But yeah, so we got the totes in here. We had to cut the wall out. Marcus is going to fix his awesome, super not straight line up there. We're just gonna put some trim around it and you'll never know. He's good at hiding it, trust me. But anyway, so yeah, so that's the, the all the updates and the changes and whatnot. I guess really the only changes, I guess, was that this was going to be the aquaculture room, but now, decide to do it back here but um as always i appreciate you watching taking time out of your day and um if you're not subscribed please hit that subscribe button it'll be greatly appreciated you have a good day